Okay guys, hey, here's a little bit more help. I thought I'd do number one for you and give you another example. So, elimination works great when your variables are aligned up nicely. That works very well. And the trick is to add or subtract them together so that you eliminate or cancel out one of the variable. So, um, to help me make that decision, I want to find the variable term that's exactly the same. So 2x and 4x, that's not exactly the same. But 1y and 1y is. This one's negative, this one's positive. If I combine those or add them, they're going to be eliminated. So we're going to, we're going to choose addition here. Um, so let's go ahead and add these up then. 2x plus 4x is 6x. Negative y plus y is zero, they eliminate, so I'm gonna cancel them out. And nine plus 21 is 30. Now I just wanna get x by itself. Divide both sides by a six. And x is equal to five. And there it is, there's half of my solution. Now to get the other half, I need to plug in or substitute this value back into one of my original equations. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right here in the space that I have. So I have two x minus y equals nine. Um, but now I know that x is five, so I'm going to make that substitution. Two x minus y equals nine. Now I just wanna solve for y like I normally would. Two times five is 10. Go ahead and subtract 10 from both sides. Negative y equals 9 minus 10 is negative 1. Uh, divide both sides by negative 1. Or a fancy trick, if you're stuck with a negative variable, you can switch it to positive, that's fine. You just have to switch everything on the other side to positive. So there is my other half of my solution, I have five and I have one. So my final answer is five comma one. There it is. Okay, team. Um, hey, helping you get started on your next few. Uh, this one, I also recommend adding these because the variable term for x here, five x and five x, one of them is negative, one is positive, so if you add them together, they'll cancel out. Now down here for number three, I'm gonna make this suggestion to you, subtraction. And that's because if you were to add these together, nothing would be eliminated. Four y plus four y would be eight y. So for that reason, we're gonna go ahead and subtract all the way around. And in fact, you know what, team, I'm just feeling extra nice here. We'll go ahead and help you get started here. 3x's minus 7x's is negative 4x. <coughs> Excuse me. 4y minus 4y is 0. Cancels out. Negative 6 minus negative 14. That's a lot, a lot of negatives. Negative 6, if you subtract a negative, you're really adding negative 6 plus 14 is positive 8. So there's some help to get you started on at number 3. Okay team, thanks for playing. Bye bye.